circadian medicine is sort of a newer term. I think we're still working out exactly what that is. I consider myself a practitioner of circadian medicine. It's not a board certified specialty. It's just kind of part of sleep medicine, um, but not all sleep medicine practitioners really take, we all have some training in circadian rhythms, but some people may have more of a focus on it. And the way I define it is just enhancing or modifying circadian rhythms to improve overall health. And so how I am incorporating that into my practice is any patient with a sleep disorder, especially insomnia, hypersomnia, but even sleep apnea because of these metabolic effects of circadian rhythms, I am kind of looking at their sleep-wake schedule, trying to optimize that, trying to optimize all of these zeitgebers, their, their pattern of light exposure, their temperature. You know, you can kind of try to strengthen these external cues with the hope of improving their physiology and then improving whatever they're, they're complaining of, their insomnia, their hypersomnia, um, or for things like migraine or cluster or dementia, you know, really trying to improve the neurologic disorder as well. In patients with neurologic disorders, um, the, the sleep wake intrinsic cycle may be less strong. They may have some dysfunction of the circadian system. And the theory is kind of that the more dysfunctional the system, the more external cues you actually need. So maybe before you had Alzheimer's, you did fine as an indoor office worker all day. You had good sleep. You had you know good wakefulness. You were sort of able to keep this rhythm with really minimal environmental cues. But as you start to, as your brain starts working less well, there's no more, uh, um, neurodegeneration, the intrinsic rhythm becomes less strong. And so now if you're indoors watching TV all day with no stimulation, you're going to be dozing. Um, you're going to be up all night. You know, really this absence of cues is going to be a lot more difficult for you. And so even if you tolerated it in the past, you're not going to anymore. And let's, instead of having you indoor dozing in front of the TV all day, let's get you outdoors walking. Let's get you more social structure. Let's dim the lights at night. Let's put you on a sleep schedule. Let's give you a scheduled nap during the day rather than just dozing half hazardly that you can really optimize the, the, not just the sleep wake function, but you can actually optimize the neurologic function with some of these interventions.